So I got a suggestion from Dhruv, who now goes by GeoGeese on YouTube, I believe. But it's the same person. Uh, anyway, he commented on that video where I was trying to name as many Canadian cities as I could with a link to a map he created called Universities of Canada. So let's see how this goes. 40 locations, 86 people have played it. I'm going to do it as a, a three minute per round attempt because I did the uh, US universities map uh, with these limits. And I'm going to do a challenge. The link will be in the description. And let's see how this goes. So I uh, don't really look at Canadian maps on uh, on the map on like Google Maps that often or Street View. So um, I maybe will have trouble finding them. Like if I get a name, uh, I might have trouble finding the exact uh, location, especially if it's in a larger city, which most universities in Canada are, um, assuming it's bigger universities. Anyway, um, we have some big buildings here, though, so I'm thinking this could be... Actually, I'm thinking University of Alberta, but I may be wrong about that. That's just, or I'll probably be wrong. That's just my initial guess. Let's see. If the license plates are Alberta, it looks like they're not. Looks more like Saskatchewan, actually, or Manitoba. Can't really tell. Uh, so if it's Saskatchewan, I actually don't know where University of Saskatchewan is. If it's in Saskatoon or Regina. Okay, this is not, the movement is not very good here. So let's actually go back to the start. Let's try going this way. I think I went near those towers earlier. The problem with the pedestrian, like, trail, pedestrian track coverage is that uh, the movement is a lot of times, a lot of times very slow. So let's see. Okay, I might have to go back that way, actually. No, let's look for plates again. Because there's this guy here might have... I think it's a Saskatchewan plate, so I'm going to say, does it have something on the side there? Waskana, Waskana Center, I think that's in Regina, isn't it? Some, I don't know where that is, but is it a city or just a part of Regina? I don't know. Anyway, I think we're in Regina then. Oh, maybe it's University of Regina, not uh, University of Saskatchewan. Okay, yeah, they have the two towers there, so... So we're across from the two towers on this loop thing. So we should be around there. There we go, 5,000 points. That was pretty easy. Uh, two minutes, 19 seconds. So we got that thing which I can't pronounce, but it is in English. So is this like one of the territories perhaps? It looks like it's either an Ontario or Manitoba flag there. This looks like a bit of a smaller university. Is that a plate of Manitoba? I don't know where that truck went, so let's not dwell on that. Let's look for some other clues. The coverage is kind of weird here. We've got front plates, and they are Ontario plates. Damn it, I was hoping this would be Manitoba. Because the flags look similar, so I wasn't sure which one it uh, which one it was. So here we got some hmm, Thunderbird. I think UBC is also called the Thunderbird, but obviously this is not UBC. Um, the hell that building just disappeared. Okay, this is gonna be tough. So it's Ontario. I feel like it's up in northern Ontario though. Should I just look at Thunder Bay or something and see what they have there? Lakehead, maybe? I don't know. I think I'll need some more clues first, though. Well, since we're on a road here, I guess I could even just go look for street signs. Okay, it's just Algoma University, which I have no idea where that is. Um, I don't know if Algoma is a place, or if it's just... I don't know. Um, cause I actually haven't heard of that before. I haven't heard of the university or the place. So who knows if it's a, a small town or if it's in another city. Um, I don't know. Let's look in like Sudbury or something. There's Algo. 
Oh, that's where Laurentian University is. I've heard of that. I didn't know it was in Sudbury, though. Okay, let's look at North Bay then. Nipissing University. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these universities are not the same place, uh, like the name the same as the town, so uh, not sure. Maybe I'll just have to, unfortunately, have to just use like non university clues here to figure this out. Actually, maybe it's not as far north as I thought. It was just the coverage was weird in the, uh, in like on campus there, but maybe we're farther south then. I'm running out of time here, so I'll have to put down a thing somewhere. Uh, crap. I, yeah, I'm running out of time here, so I'm not going to get this one. Ah, oh, crap. Sault Ste. Marie. Okay, Algoma University. So it wasn't a tiny town and it wasn't called Algoma. Unfortunately, it, okay, so it was Northern Ontario, but I just skipped over that for some reason. I did Thunder Bay, Sudbury, and North Bay, and I forgot to look at Sault Ste. Marie. Damn it. Okay, so not a good score on that one. This one looks quite a bit easier, though. We got some big building here, and we're in the middle of a downtown of a city. So I'm not sure where this is, though, but... Um... That's a Quebec flag, so maybe this is um, McGill. Let's see. I feel like this is kind of famous, but I like that I should know, but uh, maybe it's not. I don't know, but I think it's McGill. Yeah, McGill College. There we go. So it's Montreal, and it's right near downtown. I actually know where McGill is, at least. A lot of the other ones, I don't know where they are. Roddick Gates, I guess that's the thing that I was at there. I guess McGill is probably Canada's most famous university, I would say. So we're probably here. There we go, that was quick. So, Seneca, that sounds like something you would get in the Niagara Falls area, because I know the casino on the American side is called Seneca. Um, so, and these buildings do look like Ontario buildings, these towers here. So... I'm guessing St. Catharines. Uh, what's the one in St. Catharines called? Is that... Uh, oh, I want to say it before I see it on the map. Is it uh, McMaster or is that Hamilton? That's Hamilton, I think. What the hell is the one in St. Catharines called? Oh, Brock. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. Um, oops, that... Oh, wait. No, never mind that. It's just Toronto then. So, where is this? This is out of the city. I mean, out of the downtown, so it's uh, York, maybe? Is that what it's called? The one up here? Yeah, York, maybe it's that. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, I'm really not using the, uh, the university itself here, but... Uh, okay, well, I don't think it's that. Oh, Seneca is a college, I guess. So it's just this. Um, Okay, so Seneca has these towers here on the east side, which would be this, so we're around here at this junction. Yeah, it should be good there. There we go. So, uh, three out of the four rounds perfect so far. I'll probably do a second attempt after this. This one looks interesting, but I don't know where it is. I'm thinking this might be in the prairies. Hmm. Middlesex College, so this is going to be quite small, I think, unless if it's... Okay, Western, so this is in London, University of Western Ontario. Don't know exactly where it is. There we go. Um, this one might be a bit harder because it's a bit bigger of a campus than some of the other ones we've gotten so far. But we do have this big area here, this plaza thing. Um... Yeah, so going northwest into this building, and then we have road that goes off here, one-way road. Yeah, that works out, and it goes west. That's that Elgin Road, so I think we're here. Actually, we're on the street, so I think we're going to be about here. Just make sure that this... Oh. I think it works here. I don't know what this... Oh, never mind. It didn't work. 
Okay, so I was just a bit confused there, but I kind of rushed that. I should have done it. I should have taken more time there, but whatever. I didn't have perfect score anyway because of that Sault Ste. Marie one. What was that called again? Algoma? Yeah, anyway. So that took uh, nine minutes, so let's play this again. Um, I guess I'll stop the video so I can do another challenge or paste the link for this. Let's do the second challenge here. And let's get started. Okay. University of Toronto. There we go. This one, well, e easier to find it at least. Very easy. But where is this exactly? It's a big campus. So this is going to be tough. Uh, even tougher than Western. I assume it, it's just like it says St. George campus, but I assume it's this one. I don't know. Never really heard it referred to as that. Actually, I think we're just here because we have this big circle thing and then this one-way road. Yeah, so. Oh, no, but then this is supposedly a park, so no, it's not there. Um, I have to find the University of Toronto Medicine. Oh, Tamardy Faculty of Medicine. So, where's that? Maybe it isn't. Maybe there is another campus. I don't know. Hmm. Or am I getting the directions confused? Yeah, I'm getting the directions confused for some reason. We're actually down here. Right? Department of Molecular Genetics. I don't know what that is. This doesn't sound right, but... Um, I think we're here, though. I guess I can move. Yeah, so this thing is a dead end. So yeah, this works. It's here. There we go. I was a bit off, but I was a bit confused with that building too. So Concordia, that's in Montreal. Isn't it? Well, it's in Quebec anyway. I think it's Montreal. Didn't they have a big shooting there one time? I don't know. It looks like it's downtown. There's McGill. Um... Yeah, there we go. Concordia University. Um, so we got the TD there. Yeah, so we're about here. That was quite quick. So where's the... So it's like just one... Maybe it's not that big of a school. Because it looks like it's just one big building, which is pretty unique. Because, uh, like, compared to most universities in Canada. Okay, what's this? Looks like the coat of arms there of a province, but I don't know any of the coat of arms. I don't even know BC's coat of arms. So, uh, let's see. 905 area code, where's that? I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say University of Edmonton, but uh, let's see. Or University of Alberta, but okay, it's actually McMaster, so that's Hamilton. Oh yeah, 905 is like the loop around... It's the, like, outer suburbs of Toronto, right? That's their area code. Um, I forgot about that. So, engineering. We got this plaza thing. Engineering is to the west, so... I don't know how big of a school this is, but... Uh, oh, there we go. The engineering building. We're at the main entrance, I guess, so we're about there. It should be good there. There we go. So we're perfect so far. Round four. This one looks like a bit of a smaller school. Um, Algonquin College, so I assume it's northern Ontario somewhere, but I'm not sure. Um, honestly, I'll have to find some clues as to which... Oh. Actually, no, it was English was the main part of that sign and yeah so most of the other signs were in english so yeah it's ontario i'm just not sure where gonkin college maybe thunder bay i probably saw it earlier if it was thunder bay no it was lake something wasn't it lake head could they have more than one well they have confederation college there I feel like Algonquin would be more up here, right? Oh no, Algonquin Pro Provincial Park is there. Maybe North Bay, did I look at that earlier? It was like Nipissing, yeah, there we go. 
Um, maybe Peterborough? That's Trent. Um, where's Kawartha Lake? So here. Oh, that's not even really a town. It's just a big municipality, I guess. Maybe it's just in the Ottawa area. There's University of Ottawa and there's Carleton are the only ones I've heard of. Algonquin College, Ottawa campus. There we go. Navajo Drive. We got the strip mall type of thing there or whatever, the shopping area. So we're at this market. 20, or it's a cafe actually. 35th Street Market Cafe, which is maybe on this. I don't really remember how I got. Oh, I went southwest. Oh, maybe it's this. Residence and Conference Center, Ottawa West. Oops, should be on this sign. Okay, that's a residence there, and then got a bus stop. Yeah, I think it's there. Okay, let's go back and pinpoint this. Match it up with this entrance here. We're actually right at that entrance to that building, so there we go. I'm sure I've heard of that school, but I forgot about it, or I don't think about it ever. Okay, there we go. We're in New Brunswick. So I don't actually know what their universities are. If it's just a university in New Brunswick, maybe. Other than that. And I don't know what city that would be. Um, since I'm not familiar with their schools, I'll probably have to go out and look for a... Uh, like road signs and stuff just not related to the school unfortunately i wanted to try to make it like relevant to the school but i don't know this campus well enough so i'll have to find which area it is to narrow it down so i don't look at every single city moncton is east and st john fredericton are west so we're somewhere in here then sussex maybe okay i am going to need to get a university name then Maybe it's this sign here. Oh, there's a name there. I can't see it. It's up in the top. Cray something. CR something. I can't really read it. Um, maybe we're just on the outskirts of Moncton or something. Or on the outskirts of one of these other ones. Or Mukto maybe. That's a military base or something. Outside of St. John, maybe? No, I'm going to have to get more clues than that. Oh, there's a big sign there. Where did it go? Where was that? How did I get so far ahead there with one click? So, Crandall University. Um, I don't know if that's a place. Probably not. Hmm, could be... I'm going to have to go back to that sign then and see what highways those were because I wasn't... I was thinking it would be a bit easier to find, so it's on two. St. John and Fredericton. I already forgot what the university was called. Holy shit. Um, I'm running out of time here, but... You know what? I'll have to go to the junction. Because it will say what this thing is. Very low on time here, but... Shemaine George Road to Moncton. Okay, so it is Moncton here. Oh, there we go. It's right there. I wasn't paying attention. Crandall University, so suburban Moncton, kind of. Somewhere around here. Where's the roundabout? Oh, we're in the roundabout, actually. Yep, so we're in there. So in the end, I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. So, perfect score. A little bit of a uh, challenging ending there. I wasn't sure if I'd get that right, but this game was a lot easier than the first game. Eight minutes. Actually, the time wasn't much shorter, but um, except for the last run, I think it was quite, quite a bit easier. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the suggestion, and thanks for making the map to Druv or GeoGeese. Um, check out his channel on YouTube. I think he's recently started making videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.